I mentioned about Ida right. Scudder, who was an American uh, educated in the United States in medicine. She came back and uh, established this women's medical uh, center, training women to be nurses, compounders, and then gradually medical college. Till 1947, it was all women's medical college, and then it became open to men and women. Okay. So that's uh, this is a British time. So um, her idea was to bring the best of technology, the best of medical knowledge, wherever it's available, to the local situation, so that no person in India or here should suffer from a disease for which solution is available in the United States or in the UK. So that was her kind of a inspiration to everybody. To illustrate that I would say the first open heart surgery in the country was done here. And all the cardiac surgeons of India, the first generation, were trained here. So this they was went much out before you joined or is it pardon? It was much before you joined here or was before I joined here. Okay. In the early 1950s. I joined here in uh, 59. So already a cardiac surgery unit was functional and they were trained. The first batch of Indian people trained in cardiac surgery was here and they went out and established their own centers and uh, established uh, units. Uh, say Ames for example. Ames cardiology started, cardiac surgery started by one of our earliest uh, ca trained cardiologists, cardiothoracic surgeons. The same can be said about neurosurgery. The first modern time neurosurgery. Characashu through that time they say neurosurgery was practiced and all that. But the first modern neurosurgeon of India was in Valor. He was brought, he was an Indian who was working in Canada. Mm -hmm. So he was specially invited to come and establish a, a neurology department, a neurosurgery department. So again, the first batch of Indian neurosurgeons were trained in Valor. They went out and started their own units and trained uh, people elsewhere. There was no department at the time. Okay. It was a small unit. It was a research unit established by the Englishman pediatric professor. I converted that into a diagnostic virology and it grew into a department later on. What are the major achievements during your tenure in the department, um, in virology especially? The, you know, some of the early diagnostic work with uh, unusual diseases with virus and all were done in Valor. Um, but 1966, we had children who were developing poliomyelitis, paralytic polio, in spite of taking three doses of the oral polio vaccine, which is never heard of in the West. So that is the incentive that for me to do some research into how the polio vaccine works. And uh, therefore I had to throw open the lab for people to get children tested for polio. That was the beginning of a diagnostic virology. If you can do polio virology, you could do measles and you could do any viral diseases. So at that point in time, there was no such kind of uh, research in any part of the country, right? Not on this particular aspect. I mean, research in general in India is extremely non-existent, uh, very low quality. Most people think of science in India as describing what happens. Okay. Not experimenting to change the, the outcome. There are two different things. For us, science is Shastra. Shastra actually describes as things are. Whereas science actually finds the effect of a cause that you defined. Okay, so you take a, a, a stable situation, 
there are causes and effects chemistry or physics or whatever you have medicine uh, disease drugs you keep everything stable you change one element in the cause equation and see what the effect is that's how science progresses no we don't do that very much in india in india that kind of an act after cv raman discovered the light scattering by the prism and the vibhya or uh, rainbow colors and all that what original science has india uh, actually given to the world very little we apply science mm-hmm. into technology so nuclear and uh, rocket and all those can astronomy we are we are very good but their science done elsewhere technology applied in india very well mm-hmm. have we developed a single drug we use a lot of drugs in medicine is there an indian contribution to a drug indian contribution to a new disease so our science is not very 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 is it because of lack of institutional structures or we know same individuals they do wonders when they go out but when they come here they may not be able to do as much as they can or yeah, they it's, generally it's do it's a, it's a it's a combination of factors science is not valued in our culture that is this basic science and so we don't fund it yeah and there is no incentive and anyway merit is not recognized the non meritorious and the meritorious are on par on equal so what is your incentive to excel okay nobody tells you hey you are very good whereas in the west they tell you you are very good and that very one uh, word makes you do better so these are issues uh, anyway so uh in virology we used polio is what i did in the beginning i found that the polio vaccine the oral drops that was popular was not doing uh, giving good results i began exploring it and during that uh, process of exploring this i asked a question there is a vaccine there is a disease why should vaccine and disease coexist we should solve the problem of the disease in the community by using vaccine but this vaccine is not working well so how to use this vaccine and have good results that is a kind of exploration so i'm not telling you the details but in 1981 we made velour totally free of polio 1981 the first done first city first town in the country to be made polio free and by 1984 85 the entire district was under polio control these are all various research projects so we are bringing in research money using do using that doing research but we are changing the practice on the ground the word pulse immunization was coined in velour for solving a problem of inefficient results of the oral polio vaccine and we began giving it in periodic all children below 5 are given the vaccine mm-hmm. and we called it pulsing the vaccine into the community that's what eventually saved india on polio elimination so pulse immunization for example is a contribution from our department 1980s we discovered that the second polio vaccine that who was not recommending india was not even licensing the sock vaccine was found to be superior to the sabin vaccine that is uh, you know a heretic statement because most of the scientific world in the west said the other vaccine was good so again we contributed a lot and kept up the teaching 
that that vaccine has to come into play if you want to truly eradicate polio 2012 who accepted that position and we are now beginning to shift our policy to introduce that vaccine and gradually withdraw the oral, the polio. oral polio vaccine this is a, a true success story of the department of virology okay with uh, me as a team leader the fruits of the research done in 70s and 80s are now visible in the 2000 2000 second decade of 2000